Hello, Whitefish. With the announcement from Governor Bullock that Montana will begin a phased reopening, Mayor Mulfeld and I wanted to take a few minutes to dig into what this means for our community. The new directive is complex in providing guidance and establishing conditions for phases one through three. So I encourage you to read the directive in its entirety. Since it may be confusing, we want to speak directly to you about our city and what this means for all of us here as we sort through these complicated times. First, thank you for the hard work you have done over the past five weeks. None of us have been prepared for what has been asked of us. In true form, the citizens of Whitefish have responded responsibly to protect the most vulnerable members of our community. But there is still a lot of work to be done. As of Sunday, April 26th, the governor's stay-at-home directive has been lifted for non-high-risk individuals. However, social distancing remains an important guideline for us all to continue through phase one and phase two. High-risk individuals are those over age 65 or with serious underlying health conditions and are recommended to still stay at home during phase one. As of Monday, April 27th, Many businesses will be allowed to reopen as long as county health department orders are followed and physical distances can be maintained through both phase one and phase two. On Monday, May 4th, bars and restaurants will also be allowed to reopen, but at limited capacity. If they can maintain the new guidelines through phase one and phase two, this will mean something different for each and every small business in our town. We understand these restrictions mean some of our bars and restaurants will not be able to reopen through phase two, and we hope you can support them by continuing to patronize takeout and curbside services. The Flathead County Health Department has provided specific guidelines for different types of businesses to assist in complying with social distancing safety needs. It is essential to modify our behaviors as we support our local businesses by adhering to these guidelines. And please bring your patients along as you may have to wait outside in order to comply with the number of people inside a business at one time. We are asking our businesses to post signs reminding all who enter should be wearing masks and practicing social distancing. Please note, the phased reopening plan for Montana also extends to travel restrictions through phase one and phase two. This is important for Whitefish as it means anyone coming into the state for non-work related purposes or has traveled outside of the state and is coming home needs to self-quarantine for 14 days and lodging properties are required to notify these non-essential travelers before booking. We acknowledge and are empathetic to the financial burden our lodging owners are bearing, but we also know the fallout that could happen if the message that Montana is reopening is misunderstood and people choose to travel here, bringing the virus with them unknowingly. And we don't want to go backwards. With this in mind, the short-term rental emergency ordinance prohibiting non-essential overnight stays has been extended through May 10th 2020 by order of the city manager in accordance with the emergency measure and it applies to all lodging. Again, anyone traveling here during this time must abide by the 14 day self quarantine order, which means and I emphasize and quote, you cannot leave for groceries, public outdoor recreation to go to work or any other activity. You must remain at your place of quarantine for the duration of the quarantine period. Again, 14 days. Exceptions will only be made in the event of a medical emergency, fire, natural disaster, or other act of God preventing the ongoing healthful habitation of a residence. The City Council will meet again on May 4th to review the current status and determine further details for the phased lodging reopening and may extend the lodging order to a later date. I know there are a lot of questions for business owners in this new normal, and I encourage you to carefully review your practices, adhere to guidelines, and train your staff so we can all stay safe. Flathead Health Department's business planning guide is easily accessible 
at cityofwhitefish.org. As Governor Bullock clearly stated, while there may be some relief in this announcement, this is not the time to celebrate. We love parades, but it's not the time to have one. In fact, I ask the citizens of Whitefish to become even more vigilant and not let your guard down so we can continue the phased reopening and not see a spike in new COVID cases. Please, out of respect for your fellow citizens, continue to practice good hygiene and hand washing. Stay six feet apart from those that you do not live with. And if you feel sick, stay at home and contact your health provider. Wearing masks is the new normal for now, and it looks like it will be for some time to come. This feels very unnatural to all of us, I know. But if we can all work together to prevent the additional spread of the virus, we'll get through this crisis even more quickly. Please wear a mask or cloth face covering in Whitefish when you are in public spaces that prevent social distancing. And remember that surgical masks or N95 respirators need to be reserved for our healthcare providers and first responders. City Hall will remain closed through May 1st, and there is a chance that it could be extended until we have completed the installation of temporary plexiglass at our service counters. When City Hall does reopen, masks will be required for all individuals visiting City Hall. We will offer disposable masks for those residents who need one, and for those individuals who should not wear a mask in accordance with CDC guidelines, thermometer checks will be available as an alternative. For now, Please continue to make remote payments as much as you can and use our Dropbox. We anticipate a reopening plan to be available soon for our parks and park facilities that are currently closed. Please be patient with us as we develop plans to safely accommodate recreation in accordance with the governor's guidelines. Remember to maintain your social distancing while in our open spaces and trails. When will we go to phase two or phase three? That's very difficult to say, as there is no expiration date. The duration of each phase will be evaluated and will move faster if we play it smart and keep the virus at bay. If you are able to work remotely, please continue to do so. And if you do return to the workplace, please monitor yourself and your coworkers for any symptoms and never go to work if you're feeling sick. Employers will need to set a new standard to keep their workers safe. Again, these are included in the Flathead Health Department Business Planning Guide posted at cityofwhitefish.org. And please remember, getting out for fresh air, exercise and recreating is allowed and encouraged during stay-at-home orders and continued guidelines. But please follow these tips for keeping us all safe. Avoid crowded areas, step to the side of the trail or area to maintain six feet minimum from others while you are in motion, Stay within your skill set to avoid injury and a need for our first responders. The governor made it very clear that this is definitely not the time to visit Montana. Anyone traveling into Montana is still ordered to self-quarantine for 14 days. We will get there and hopefully in time for a fun and very productive summer season. One area of phase one that I know a lot of community members have questions about is the announcement that the statewide school closure directive will be lifted as of May 7th, and each school district will have local control on whether to return to in-class learning in some restricted form. After consulting with Flathead City County Health Department officials, conferring with school superintendents across the Flathead Valley, and discussing with Whitefish School District leaders, our superintendent of schools will be recommending to the Board of Trustees that the safest option for the remainder of the school year will be to continue with remote learning. The board will meet on Monday, April 27th at 4 p.m. to take this matter under consideration. While we all know the hardships remote learning has created for our families, the health and safety of students, families, and staff is the highest priority. From all of us at the City of Whitefish, hang in there. Thank you for your sacrifices and compromises which will contribute to our short and long-term success. I am especially proud of this community during this time. It's an honor to serve you, and I appreciate the work we have done and continue to do together.